And we also did uh, some projects with the Vienna Tourism Board, the Vienna Tourism Strategy, which is called Global Smart Premium. That means you see a very, very good public transport. And if this good public 10 years, the city did not decide, the city of Vienna thought about how could we bring them into mind about the necessity of the development of this part of the city. And so the city of Vienna started a participation. Excellencies, uh, Ambassador Hager, Ambassador Songsak, Miss Maria Vasiliku, uh, Mr. Eugene Antalovsky, and Miss Angelica Winkler. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm not going to speak too much because you're waiting for your lunch. Uh, but uh, even though I haven't been listening to uh, what uh, you have been discussing all morning, but let me give you a big picture. Uh, and I understand that uh, even though the main topic uh, of discussion today is smart city, but smart city uh, relies on the national context and the national development. Uh, as for Thailand, uh, we can learn a lot from your experience in Vienna and elsewhere. However, uh, we fully understand that it will be, it will have to be our own local. Uh, otherwise, uh, we we can be misled misled in in our thinking and in our approaches. Uh, as for Thailand, uh, we are going through uh, uh, a very intensive uh, uh, transformation at this moment. Not only in city, but throughout the country led by the vision of the so-called Thailand 4.0. Now, one will be wondering what 4.0 could mean. It could mean many things. Uh, but let me very uh, narrow it down and specifically say that uh, uh, 4.0 in terms of my ministry, which is digital uh, Ministry of Digital Economy and Society, covering both ends of development. Uh, we are talking about uh, development in the 21st century, uh, deploying the, the use of digital technology in, in three prongs. Uh, number one, uh, to be able to reduce the disparity uh, or the so-called in digital term, digital uh, divide. And here's opportunity more than threats for us today. Uh, secondly, uh, we are talking about how we can distribute progress and wealth in a sustainable way uh, to the citizens, not only to the people in Bangkok, but to the citizens at large. And number three, to make sure that we nurture our human capital uh, as much as we can. The last, the last one is the most difficult, I must admit. Now, with this three-prong approach for Thailand 4.0, and I, I, I would try uh, to, to seek the connectivity or linkage between uh, programs in digital development uh, with regard to uh, smart city concept. For digital Thailand uh, to be able to, uh, to uh, be consistent with uh, uh, Thailand 4.0, we are talking about five tracks or five programs of digital development. And I think all of them have, will, all of them would, each and each of them would have some flavor of smart city built in into it. Uh, number one, digital infrastructure. Uh, you can consider smart city as part of the digital infrastructures if you wish. But the good news is that uh, apart from the city level development, Thailand at this point is breaking through a concept of digital divide by making sure that the government provides equal access to digital connectivity, not only to big cities, 
not only to high growth areas, high profit areas, but to every village in the country, 75,000 villages we are talking about. And we, uh, we have accomplished about 75% of these villages today. And hopefully this year we will be able to connect the rest 25%. And for the first time, whatever you want to do in whatever city in Thailand, you can make use of this digital infrastructure, this broadband network, this high-speed internet for the benefit of economic development, for the benefit of social development, uh, environment, natural resources, you name it. So we will provide the infrastructure for you to do your good work. Secondly, on human resources, I think when, when we talk about 77 provinces in Thailand, uh, we, we will most likely forget about human resources. So let me put in record now that we need to take care of human resources even as a top priority. Depending on what you're doing, if you're talking about literacy, if you're talking about uh, competency, of people who run uh, smart city, of people who make use of smart city, well, these are the things you have to keep in mind because it will affect everyone. Okay. Number three, we are talking about development of many digital technologies today. One may talk about uh, applications of uh, artificial intelligence. One may talk about IOT uh, everywhere in the city to monitor, to gauge, uh, to uh, use a lot of sensors in order to provide better services to the public, uh, down to a, a large number of apps uh, and software development so that citizens can make good use of the design of smart city uh, that each city will, 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 will try to do. And, uh, and I'm sure that cities will have different kind of smart cities, which I think is healthy. They don't have to have a copy, one single uh, format of uh, smart city in Thailand. So I think technologies are coming. CCTVs are coming. We have, I think, more than 300,000 CCTVs throughout the country. Uh, now we are talking about how to make good use of these CCTVs, uh, which leads us to think about how we can make good use of big data to run a city, to run provinces, to run districts, or even to run communities. It can be as specific as to run the communities at the rural village uh, level. Uh, I'm sure you all have discussed about uh, what sort of programs of smart cities in Thailand. Uh, let me just uh, confirm to you that uh, it's not only smart city, we also have to look beyond smart city, uh, apart from uh, infrastructure uh, to reduce the disparity, apart from uh, the disparity because of the uh, lack of opportunities for communities to learn and apart from uh, government service through good use of big data, we also have to look at how the city networks, whether it's public or private, can be well protected. Uh, and here we have not only the computer response teams, we also have the cyber security coming into play very soon this year. So uh, at least the five uh, tracks of digital development Thailand 2018, the infrastructure, the human resource, technology development, uh, cyber security, as well as e-government, will form a good transformation for Thailand to go into the digital age, not 10 years from now, not 20 years from now, but now, 
this is a transformation time. This is an exciting time. And this is a time that we nurture those who need support, school children who need to learn better through a better teaching and learning system, uh, for SMEs to be able to use equipment so that they can be modernized and compete with big businesses. For government officials to be able to do a better job providing services to the public and to private sector to be able to grow startups, entrepreneurs in new products and services that can offer to Thailand and to the world. And last but not least, to communities, whether they are in urban areas, in rural areas, in provinces, in districts, to be able to have a better quality of life and the ability to earn better living, better income in the future. So let me conclude by, by those statements and let me thank uh, the organizer of this event. Let me thank uh, uh, City of Vienna, uh, um, Madame Ambassador uh, Executives, who uh, make this uh, very useful conference a reality, uh, as well as the organizations that uh, have provided good support uh, for this workshop. Thank you again, and I hope that uh, there will be closer collaboration between uh, Thailand and Austria. Uh, hopefully not only in smart cities, but in uh, digital development and national development for the betterment of uh, national development of our two countries. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dr. Pichet Durong Pauke Road, Minister of Digital Economy. ครับวันนี้ก็เป็นวันที่เรามีความร่วมมือระหว่างรัฐบาลไทยกับรัฐบาลออสเตรียนะครับโดยเฉพาะอย่างยิ่งเรามีผู้แทนระดับสูงจากนครเวียนนาของประเทศออสเตรเลียลอสออสเตรียนะครับมาแลกเปลี่ยนความรู้โดยเฉพาะยิ่งในเรื่องของเมืองอัจฉริยะแล้วก็นวัตกรรมในชุมชนเมืองนะครับซึ่งเวียนนาเนี่ยก็เป็นประเทศเป็นเมืองที่มีความก้าวหน้าในการทำสมาร์ทซิตี้เป็นอันมากสำหรับประเทศไทยเราเองเนี่ยในปีนี้เนี่ยเราก็มีหลายหน่วยงานก็จะมาช่วยกันทําเรื่อง Smart City หลายจุดเลยนะครับไม่ว่าจะเป็น EEC 3จังหวัดก็จะเป็น Smart EEC เรามีต้นแบบของ Smart City ที่สําคัญก็คือเกาะภูเก็ตนะครับวันนี้ถ้าท่านไปท่านก็จะเห็นความเปลี่ยนแปลงหลายอย่างโดยช่องยิ่งการทำนวยความสะดวกให้กับนักท่องเที่ยวทั้งหลายนะครับแล้วก็เอกชนของหลายจังหวัดนะครับโดยช่องยิ่งเชียงใหม่และขอนแก่นก็มีความสนใจมากที่จะลงทุนในเรื่องของ Smart City ก็คิดว่าเป็นส่วนที่จะช่วยทำให้การพัฒนาในระดับชุมชนเมืองสามารถก้าวไปได้นะครับแล้วก็ก็ไม่ได้เกี่ยวข้องกับดิจิทัลอย่างเดียวนะครับ Smart City ยังเกี่ยวข้องกับเรื่องของพลังงานเกี่ยวข้องกับเรื่องคมนาคมแล้วก็เกี่ยวข้องกับเรื่องการพัฒนาคนนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นในการหารือกันในวันนี้เนี่ยก็น่าจะได้ประโยชน์ในการเอาประสบการณ์ดีๆของนครเวียนนาประเทศออสเตรียนะครับมาใช้ประโยชน์นะครับคุณมาเรียก็เป็นรองผู้ว่าราชการจังหวัดของนครเวียนนาก็จะเล่าให้เราฟัง Could you tell us a little bit about the outcome of the workshop today very briefly um, Bangkok is a rapidly growing very dynamic city Vienna is also a fast growing city uh, right now it is the fastest growing city in the German speaking area in Europe so I have accepted the invitation to come to Bangkok um, and use the chances to learn from each other Bangkok is on its way of becoming a smart city. Vienna also has a smart city strategy that we have been applying in the last years. It's about protecting our environment. It's about protecting our national resources. It's about an inclusive society of active citizens. It is about creating a better life for everybody in the city. And by doing so, we apply new technologies, new solutions, and smart ideas. So this is clearly where we can learn from each other. ในทัศนคติของคุณมาเรียนี่ก็ชัดเจนนะครับว่าการที่จะทําเมืองอัจฉริยะเนี่ยคงไม่ใช่เรื่องของการพัฒนาเศรษฐกิจธุรกิจอย่างเดียวแต่เป็นเรื่องของการดูแลสังคม
การดูแลคุณภาพชีวิตการดูแลทรัพยากรสิ่งแวดล้อมให้ให้มีความยั่งยืนด้วยนะครับเพราะนั้นก็จะเป็นประโยชน์ต่อการออกแบบเมืองอัจฉริยะของประเทศไทยต่อไปในอนาคตครับ